I'm Harriet Tinker and here are this week's top stories that we have for you. This financial help if you are in self-isolation or taking care of a child affected by COVID-19. Meet three AC Awards Entrepreneur of the Year recipients, Ali, Niva, and Anna. City of Calgary clear out COVID-19 rumors. Ever wonder where to visit this holidays without leaving your city? Rare Sempala has put together some options for you. Now, the news in details. The City of Calgary clears up rumors about COVID-19 public health order enforcement. We do not check the registration on cars outside of homes to ensure that everyone lives at that address, nor do we look inside of the homes to monitor your activities. This Calgary Police Service is not stopping vehicles to hand out tickets to people carpooling from different households. We're here to help, not to punish. We continue to prioritize enforcement at events that create the greatest risk to the public, including large protest. Our focus is and will continue to be on large super spreader events as this is the most effective use of our enforcement resources. Those who are bluntly violating the orders or bylaws will be ticketed. Due to the safety concerns for both law enforcement and members of the community, it is not always sensible to issue a ticket at the time of an alleged offense. For example, during a protest or event where emotions are high, in many instances, tickets are issued in the hours or days after the infraction based on the evidence obtained at the time of the event. We have also heard some concern about overcrowding in large retail facilities like shopping malls and want to reassure you that we review our concerns in a timely manner. We will continue to respond to capacity issues heard through 311. For many, the holidays will look a lot different this year but we need to encourage you to follow the provincial health orders to keep each other safe. In Edmonton, to help shine a light on ways in which Edmontonians can find meaning and connection in, the, in their lives, the city and Edmonton Public Library will be profiling and showcasing hopeful messages, discussion, and more in the coming days and weeks. Stay tuned, listen and watch Councillor Scott McKean introduce the upcoming series, Random Acts of Connection. Hi everyone, Scott McKean here, Ward 6 City Councillor, here to talk to you today about a project we call Random Acts of Connection. It's a video series that will be available on the City of Edmonton website and the EPL website. We're joined together to work on this to provide some videos that hopefully will lift us out of our mental health funk caused by this darn pandemic. Please join in, connect with us. This week for AC Awards, we're celebrating three successful Entrepreneur of the Year Award recipients, Ali in Edmonton, Niva in Calgary, and Hannah in Red Deer. Um, I'd like to thank, first of all, my husband Oliver. Um, we're partners and I appreciate his support at all times. And I'd also like to thank uh, my dad and my mom who is no longer with us. Uh, she was also very important in my life in getting me to this point. And of course, my children, Ethan and Ashley, um, they have also sacrificed their mom's time being at work. And I appreciate them and love them each and every day. 
Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank um, the AC Awards Committee. I appreciate you um, thinking of me and awarding this um, special award to me for 2020. Thank you very much. Thank you, Asagad. Thank you so much. I really appreciate for 2020 Entrepreneur Award. I really appreciate. I'm really happy. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the Afro-Canadian Award, the Diversity Magazine, I want to present to you, you as a winner Thank you. of the Entrepreneur of the Year 2020. Fashion of the week, this color and beauty in the horizon this holidays. A colorful eye-catching mantai set will not be a bad idea for the present this holidays. A handcrafted African wax print or Ankara, a high quality set of tie, bow tie, and pocket square to complement an outfit. The set comes elegantly wrapped with a bow which makes it the perfect gift for this holiday season. A beautiful present for the holidays. For more information, please go to kynapparel.ca. Diversity profile for this week is the fantastic story of Calgary-based singer Arlene Meredith, who surprisingly got more busy during this COVID-19 period. Hi, my name is Arlene Meredith, and I am a singer and a songwriter. I have been singing throughout COVID-19 on Zoom, Instagram, and at my church on uh, YouTube. I thought I would be resting, but you know what? I'm glad I was prepared to do this because I actually had a lot of songs all written already and I had the tracks for my voices. So I'm so glad to be a singer and I'm so glad to, that I have the opportunity to still um, use my talent throughout COVID-19 to uh, cheer people up. Coronavirus Project Cool Times. If you're feeling sick or have any symptoms related to COVID-19, stay home. They support if you need to stay at home where you are sick or are in isolation due to COVID-19. The Canada Recovery Sickness Benefit provides $500 per week for up to a maximum of two weeks for workers who are sick or need to self-isolate due to COVID-19 or have an underlying health condition that puts them at greater risk of getting COVID-19. The Canada Recovery Caregiving Benefit also provides $500 per week for up to 26 weeks per household for parents who need to care for a child who is sick or because schools, daycares, or care facilities are closed due to COVID-19. Christmas parties can be celebrated virtually to avoid community spread of COVID-19 and of course heavy fines from the authorities. The Sierra Leone community celebrated the Christmas party on Zoom last Sunday to so much fun. In Diversity TV International News, the Russian COVID-19 vaccine, Sputnik V, and the Chinese Sinovac 
are becoming the vaccine sources for the poorer countries, as the Western vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, have not only been priced out of the reach of poor countries, but have been bought by the rich countries such that some countries have ordered vaccines that can vaccinate their population over three times. In other news, a new variant of COVID-19, which spreads faster, has been detected in the UK and South Africa, leading to travel bans from these countries by some nations, including Canada. New in Edmonton, Selassie's Grill Multicultural Restaurant serves Western, Chinese, and African food. Opened just a month ago, opposite stadium on 8604 112th Avenue, Edmonton, with a large parking, a bar, large dining space, private meeting room, and most importantly, delicious food. Hi, my name is Harriet Tinker and here is one of our favorite chit chat moment that we have every week. And I have Rhea today, but she's not with me. Today she is on Zoom and she's at home on Zoom isolating. And even though she's at home, she's got some tips for us that she's going to share on what we can do during this COVID-19 isolation, during the holidays where some of us are wondering, what can we go do during the holidays with our families? There's lots she can share, but we only have a few minutes. So she'll only share a few things that will help us enjoy these holidays. All right, Rhea, please share with us. Um, to this week, I'm home. I'm socially distancing as per the COVID-19 rules. But, you know, we still have many things. You know, some people are saying, what can we do? It's winter, you know, uh, movement is limited, you know, and people don't really know what to do in Edmonton or in Calgary. So here's a few things that people can look forward to and people can participate in um, while still following COVID-19 guidelines. Well, there's a Christmas drive in Edmonton that's near the Snow Valley and it's 30 per car. And this Christmas drive is also family friendly where you can bring your children to see Santa Claus uh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Santa. And there's also another um, drive. It's more of a Christmas lights show. It's a drive through. And there you can also, it's by Castrol Raceway. And there you can see a concession stand where you can buy food. And everything is in the car. So it's you're socially distancing while still enjoying the Christmas lights. It's a festive season. And for those couples, who want to go on dates, but you know, all the restaurants have been closed down. There's a court, courtyard Marriott. It's a, it's, it's a restaurant, but what they have done is very innovative. They have winter igloos, like domes, where um, it can hold up to six people. So you can bring your um, COVID-19 bubble and you can bring them there and they can see how um, it's about, the price point might, seems to some, it's about 150 per minimum per people. So you can do date night, um, a friends gathering. And in, in Calgary, we have Scotsman Hill. And, you know, I think during this time, it's winter, we can embrace the winter season and what it brings. So, you know, you know, try new things, you know, like dog sledding. Um, ice fishing. I know in Calgary, a lot of people do ice fishing. So people who don't know what ice fishing is, it's basically the lake is usually like, um, or any body of water is usually frozen up. So they cut little circles in the lake and they um, put uh, fishing rods and they start fishing. So that's ice fishing. And also in Calgary, there's, um, so we know that in winter, you can't really use your normal bike, but they call them fat bikes, fat bikes. 
meaning that the tires are like fat so they're able to go in the snow easier so that's one other winter thing that you can try and also a lot of things have gone online right so there's afro dance there's zumba and i know in calgary there's um you can take zumba sessions like zumba sessions with amanda and um different things and i encourage people to use the internet the internet is your friend use google to find different things around and also see the restrictions that these um places have in place for covid 19 so you are safe and your family and friends are safe um so let's say a place to go to is yeg secrets yeg secrets is a place that um it shows you different spots around Edmonton that as are, are secret to different spots around Edmonton that you can explore like the European area, which is a, a site that has just come up. It's like a European town and you can go drive through it, take pictures and you can do it in a safe and socially distanced way. And also you can follow different, now we have the internet social media and now for more than ever, you can follow different people on social media who explore Calgary, who explore Edmonton. And yeah, I think that's pretty much the different places that you can explore around Edmonton and Calgary. That's quite a list of uh, different activities you can do both in Edmonton and Calgary. And one that I would also recommend to our viewers is, uh, Candy, is, is, is Candy Cane Lanes. That's one of my favorite because I've always, it's not too far from where I live, it's in the, in the West End. And the address will be, it'll be shown at the end here. I don't quite have it on top of my head. But Candy Cane is one of my favorite. You can stay in your vehicle very warm, especially now that it's cold out there. And who knows how cold it will be on Christmas Day. So on Christmas Day with your family, after you have your meal, get out of there, put your nice warm socks, warm jacket, and in fact, you don't even have to have a warm jacket, just blast the heat in your vehicle, start driving, and the sights are amazing. I was just there two days ago. I was blown away this year. I've been, I go every year, and this year I was absolutely blown away by the different decorations that, that everybody around there in that neighborhood went out of their way to really, really showcase their homes. Unfortunately, this year, they always have a donation for the food bank, but this year they're not doing that because of COVID-19. So I do encourage people who are gonna go, you can always go online and donate to the food bank. If that's something you've been doing every year, you can still do it online. So thank you so much uh, for sharing all those tips and also making sure that you're, we're social distancing I'm still keeping the news going. <laughs> so I do wish you and your family the best of the holidays. And I also want to wish our viewers once again the best of the holidays. Stay safe, stay, stay strong, and keep laughing. Laughter is very important. Any few last minute words you'd like to share before with our audience off. before we sign off? I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has watched this week's community newscast. Uh, me and Harriet will see you again next week and stay tuned. You can find this on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. And Harriet, you have some other platforms that we, they can find us on? Oh, you bet. We're always on Facebook and LinkedIn and all the social medias, as you mentioned. So we can't wait for everybody to watch us next week. So make sure you subscribe. Hit that button so that you are the first to get the news as we, we bring it on live. And have a great holidays, and we'll see you next week.